This is not a sponsored product. This is a product I bought myself and it's actually an electric screwdriver. Let me pull this up. As a nerd, you always need precision tools. And I actually have been working on a bunch of things. I use this thing today before the show to fix something I'll tell you about here in a second. But this is an HP laptop notorious for having about 6 million extra screws. I think they decided that the more screws you put in a laptop, the stronger that this thing's going to be. So I've been using this for a little bit over a week. This is what the tool comes in. This is the carrying case, which kind of looks like a, a cigar box, right? <laughs> so, you know, it has that push in release. I'm going to do this on the side camera so you guys can see this real close. So there's literally the case. You push it in, slide it out, and there are all of your bits. So you can set that down wherever you're working. So it looks like this. The tool itself, really, really easy to use. Out and in. Out and in. That's the only two directions you have to worry about on this one. Uh, super easy. A couple little things that I think would have been nice. You know, uh, the bits are not magnetized when you get them out. And this was really confusing to me last week. It was really funny. So um, you put the bits in just like that. So I slid that bit in. But actually, my mod figured this out. If you go down here, there's a hole that is magnetized in the case. And you can magnetize the specific bit that you need now this is magnetized so maybe you don't want magnetized bits on what you're working on some people don't so i'm just going to go in here and i'm going to back it out you know what this is so cool i'm going to try to get you a really close-up view of this i'm going to see if my side camera can see this i'll try to do this one-handed without destroying it so i've got the standard phillips on here right and i'm going to put it in there now you can manually use it or you can see it's just backing that screw right out. I work on cell phones. I get that a lot. Um, work on power supplies, work on mobile phones. And mobile phones are becoming super, super annoying with all the different sizes of screws. I'm just going to pick a tiny, tiny one here. And maybe you can see the size of this thing. You know, the, the bit heads here, that's actually got a head on it. Let's, I don't know if that's a Phillips or a tri-y or a pentalobe, you know, they've got all the different ones here, but that's literally the kit right there. So you can see all of them are clearly labeled right above them. It's hard to see in my lighting, but they have a little silver indication of what they are. And they also have the indication on the side. Uh, little complaint about it. It would have been nice if it had a thicker Phillips, like a, a PH2, a uh, little bit larger size, but you know, I get it. It's not designed for big loads. And so if you come across a screw that's been, well, put in by me. <laughs> so, you know, this thing right here can actually be used manually. So let me show you real quick on the side camera how that works. So the back of the unit right here is where your adjustment is. So you have high torque. If I turn it to the middle, that's manual or locked. And if I turn it over there, that's low torque. So what's going to happen is as I turn it, it's just going to stop a lot faster. So when I give it some pressure it's going to stop real quick um, but if you put it on manual then it's all on you you're controlling it like a regular manual screwdriver the buttons don't work anymore and then that's where you keep it on for charge and if you put it on high torque you can hear it maybe <laughs> you know stressing out a little bit but it works really well i've been really impressed with this one the one thing that was frustrating me last week when i was doing a pc build is you always have that one screw up by the cpu for eight pin and you have to like hold the screw, get in that back dark corner. There is no light on this one. That's another thing that's kind of, I've seen them on a few that have a very small LED work light. So hopefully you've got a lot of light where you're working. But yeah, HP went crazy on this with the number of screws. And what they did is the screws that they don't want you to get to, I'll show you those here in a second. The shoes that they, uh, the sc screws that they don't want you to get to, they made different. So they actually went with this Torx head. So this is the one right here. Um, this is the T9H. So let me see. Yeah. So that's the T9H. So that's why you need all of these various different sizes and lengths. So this is a Torx 9. And that's what HP decided to use here on these other ones that open the case up. So you can see magnetic holds that in pretty cool. Is it comfortable in the hand? You know what? I actually, I was worried about that. It's a great question. I was worried that it was going to roll off my desk because it's cylindrical, right? But you'll see the buttons are just tall enough 
that it keeps it from rolling, you know, so it'll stop it eventually. Um, as far as could they make it any more ergonomic, you know, it's a heck of a lot more ergonomic than the Leatherman, which I usually have to carry and then figure out how to get this and try to use it. But yeah, not bad. They could do a little bit more with like the knurling um, on this one specifically. This is their manual one. It has a lot more grip surface right here. I actually like that. Um, it's almost kind of like on a hand grip, you know, on a, a device that I can't name or we're going to get banned. <laughs> But on one of those devices uh, that has that a little bit more grippy texture, this one's really smooth. But yeah, absolutely. And easy enough to use. Again, super easy. Like we said, there's the manual override, light, and strong mode. So it's got all those capabilities there. As far as how long on a charge, it says two hours continuous use, which I don't know how many screws that is. Uh, honestly, I did not recharge that thing from last week. And I've probably taken out 30 or 40 screws back before the show and then whatever we just did there. So, yeah, I've been using it, um, you know, generally sits on the desk, stays charged. It charges in a couple hours from dead as well. So I don't think that you're going to be waiting that long. You can give it a 10 minute charge and it's going to go right away. When it did arrive, it was completely dead as a doornail. <laughs> it took like five minutes before the light even came on. So it definitely uh, was cool. It does have the mini electric screwdriver storage case, 24 bits. You're going to get the, the Phillips one zero triple lot and double lot SL twos one five. So it's going to have all of those, uh, all the Torx bits in there. It even has security Torx. It has the Y bits and it's got that USB charging cable and a user manual. So there you go. Awesome.